So, Independence Day is the third studio album from Fredo, and it was the second to come out in the space of not a long period of time, actually. Money Can't Buy Happiness came out, like, half a year before, and I really like that project. I think Fredo showed his improvements in his rapping ability, and I think the production, I think it was executive produced by Dave, like, really made it stand out, and the introspective lyricism as well. This project, I don't like as much. I still think it's a pretty good project. I think Fredo is clearly going in on on the beats here and like lyrically is good. There's introspection again, which I like. I just feel like the production can be a bit one note sometimes and a bit too predictable. I think one example where it didn't work for me was the Potter Paper track. It was too short. It didn't feel like he had enough time for either artist to sort of put across what they were trying to say fully, if you know what I mean. And yeah, I think the features on this project overall are decent. The Heady One track, One's Worth to Bullingdon, both those guys go back and forth very well together. And the production series are bad. Like, there's a lot of tracks that you can see is taking a bit of inspiration from the last album. But some of them, the production just, it doesn't do it for me. And while I enjoy this project, I think it's a solid album. It does feel like a mixtape a bit, in my opinion. It's got that sort of feel to it. But yeah, it's still, it's still a good project. Fredo is still sounding good. He's still one of the top guys in the game. And also he's independent now, so he's making that money. So that's good, I guess.